Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Android Studio on your Windows 10 operating system. So for installing Android Studio on your Windows operating system, you need to first have Java installed on your Windows operating system. So first we are going to see how to install Java JDK on our Windows operating system. And then we are going to see how we can install Android Studio. So let's get started. We are going to just open our browser and search for Java JDK. And the first link which will appear here will be from oracle.com. I'm going to provide the link in the description of this video also. So just open the link which is from oracle.com. So once this website is open, you can see at the time of making this video, Java 14 is the latest version available and you can download it by just clicking on this JDK download link. So I'm going to just click on JDK download, which is going to open this kind of web page. So here you need to just scroll down and locate the Windows operating system executable file. So you can see Windows X64 installer, we will choose this one and you can see this executable file we can download for Java 14. So just click on this uh, link, which is going to start the download of this executable file. In between, you will be asked to just check this checkbox and then click on this download button. So once this executable file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this file. And now you can see uh, that this installation wizard has been started. So I'm going to just click on next here. And this will be the location where your Java JDK will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change it, just leave it as default and then click on next. And then just wait for the installation to complete. And after some time, you will see this message which says Java SE development 14.0.1 successfully installed. That means uh, Java is installed on our Windows operating system. So I'm going to just close this uh, window and let's see where Java is installed on our Windows operating system. So just go to this PC and then click on uh, local drive. And then we are going to go to the program files. And here you can see uh, the Java folder. So I'm going to go inside the Java folder. And once you are inside the Java folder, you will see the JDK directory here. Now in the newer version of uh, Java JDK, you will not see JRE folder here. So JRE comes with the JDK bundle. So you don't need to, uh, you know, install it separately or do anything here. So just go inside the JDK folder. And now we are going to set the environment variable for our Java command to work with it. So you need to go inside the bin folder for that and then just copy this path up to bin folder inside the Java. So to set the environment variables, you just need to search for environment variables and you will see uh, this result here, which says edit the system environment variables. So search few letters of environment and you will see this result. So just click on this result, which says edit the system environment variables. And then here you need to go to this section, which says environment variables. And now you can add the Java bin environment variable here. So under system variable, you will see this path variable. So just select this and then click on add it. And here you need to click on new and add this path which you have copied. So this is the path up to bin which we have copied. So you just need to click new and then paste this path. So once you have added this, just click on OK. Also, some application requires Java Home to be added into the environment variables. So to add Java Home in your environment variables, you can just click on new under system variables. So just click on new and then under variable name, just write Java Home in capital. So Java underscore home all in capital. And then the variable value will be the JDK folder path. So you just need to go up to JDK folder. You don't need to go inside the bin folder. Okay. So up to JDK folder, just copy this path and then just paste it as the variable value and then click OK, which is going to add this Java home variable into your system variable. 
once you are done with this just click on ok and then click on ok so this means that java home variable and java environment variable is added into your environment variables now what we are going to do is we are going to check whether java command is working with our command prompt or not so just close any other command prompt which you have previously opened and then just open the command prompt once again so just write cmd and then just click on command prompt here and here we are going to check once again java version command so i'm going to just write java hyphen version here and it's going to show the version of uh, java which you have installed so we have installed java 14.0.1 so it's going to show us this result you can also run the java c command so java c hyphen version and it's also going to show you the java c version so once you have installed java jdk on your windows operating system we are ready to install android studio on our windows operating system so for that just open your favorite browser once again and then search for android studio and you will see the first result here will be from developer.android.com so we are going to just click on this link i'm going to give this link in the description of this video also once this website is open straight away you can see this download button and at the time of making this video you can see 4.0 for windows is the latest version of android studio also if you want to see the system requirements for installing android studio you can just scroll down at the bottom and at the bottom you will be able to see the system requirements so we are using windows 10 so these are the system requirements for installing android studio on your windows 10 operating system so make sure all the system requirements are met on your windows operating system before installing android studio so once your laptop or pc fulfills all these requirements we are ready to uh, just download this executable file so i'm going to just click on this download button and then click on i have read and agree with all the above terms and conditions and then click on download so you can see it's around 871 megabyte file so it will take some time to download so i will wait for the download to complete so once this executable file is downloaded i'm going to just click on this executable file and i'm going to minimize my browser and first of all you just need to uh, select yes here which is going to start the installation wizard for android studio so here on this first window you just need to click on the next button and then you will see uh, this section here also leave everything as default and then click on next and this will be the location where android studio will be installed on your windows operating system so if you don't have the good reason to change it just leave it as default and then click on next and then here on this window you don't need to do anything you just need to click on install and then wait for some time for the installation to complete so now you can see the installation is finished and it says setup was completed successfully so at this point you just need to click on next button and then just leave this checkbox as checked and click on finish which is going to launch android studio for you now for the first time when android studio starts it will ask you if you want to uh, import the config from the previous installation of android studio or not otherwise you can choose do not import anything so just leave it as do not import settings if you are installing android studio for the first time and then click on ok which is going to start the android studio now at this point you can see uh, this message which says allow google to collect anonymous usage data of android studio and its related tool if you want to uh, allow google to do that just click on send usage statistics to google otherwise click on don't send in my case i'm going to just choose don't send and now on this android studio setup wizard you can set up your android studio according to your needs so here just click on next and in the install type you can see there are two options standard and custom for the new user i will recommend the first option which is standard which is recommended for most users also and then click on next and here you can select the ui theme so some people like darkular theme other people like light theme so it's uh, totally depend on the developer's taste 
I'm going to go with the light theme. But if you want to have the darkula theme, you can uh, just select the darkula theme and then click on next. And now you can verify all the settings which you have selected. So you can see there are so many settings which are uh, selected here. You can verify them. And then if you are happy with all those settings, then you can click on finish. At this point, the Android Studio will start the download of some extra tools which were listed in the verify steps. So here also you need to wait for some time until this download and the setup is finished for the Android Studio for the first time. And as you can see, I have pressed show more. So I am seeing more details about this process here. So once this process is finished, you will see this finish button here. So I'm going to just click on finish here. And then you will see this Android Studio uh, window. So now let's create a sample Android Studio project. So I'm going to just select on start a new Android Studio project from here. And here you can uh, choose between phone and tablet and Wear OS, TV OS, automotive and Android things. So I'm going to select phone and tablet. So I'm going to just select uh, empty activity because we are going to just test our Android Studio and then click on next button here. Here at the top, you can provide the name to your Android application. For example, I'm going to just provide my first Android application name as hello world here and then just leave package name as default. You can also change the location where this project will be saved. And also you can select the language in which you want to develop this Android app. So for now, I want to develop this Android app in Java. So I will select Java from here and minimum SDK. So you can see by default API 16 Android 4.1 Jelly Bean is selected. You can uh, select the newer version or the later version from here also. And it also depends on how many percentage of Android device you are targeting. So let's say I'm going to just select Android 5.0. It says that your app will run on approximately 94.1% of devices. Okay. So here I'm going to just uh, select uh, API 16 Android 4.1 Jelly Bean and then click on finish, which is going to start the Android Studio for the first time. So now as you can see, it will take some time to load. So just wait for some time. So we will start from the right hand side. You will see this window in which you can see what's new in the newer version of Android Studio. If you don't want to read it, just minimize this option because our project is created here. On the left side, you can see the project view and here on the right side you can see the code for your project. Also you will be able to see the activity main.xml file where you can design your Android app. One more thing you will observe here is this bottom bar here and here you will see uh, the Gradle is downloading some packages. So you need to wait for those packages to be downloaded. So just wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. Also, you can click on terminal here, which is going to show you the terminal. Or if you want to uh, see the build, then you can see the build status also here for your uh, Android app. So now as you can see, this sync is finished. So my build is successful. And as you can see on the activity main.xml uh, window, I can uh, see this design view or I can see the split view in which I can uh, see the design and the code for that or I can see only code. Okay, so you can choose between these three modes, whatever you want to use. So right now when I uh, just uh, maximize this uh, design view or zoom it, I can see there is one text message here which says hello world. So when we are going to run our app, it's going to show hello world message on the app. So now let's run this project. So in order to run this project, you need to select some device. Now, right now you can see there is no device selected here. So when you uh, will run your app, it will say that error running app, no target device found. 
So what you need to do is you just need to click on uh, this no device here and then click on open AVD manager, which is going to uh, open this kind of window. So here we are going to create a new virtual device. So I'm going to just click on new virtual device. And from here you can choose the device uh, on which you want to test your Android app. So all the device which you see here are from Google. So here I'm going to select this uh, Pixel 3 uh, device from here, which is around 5.43 inches. And then I'm going to click on next button. So here on the next window, you can select a system image. So you can see uh, different release names and API levels. So for now, I'm going to choose this uh, release name, which is Oreo and the API level is 27. So just click on download link here and it's going to open this kind of license agreement uh, window. So just click on accept and then click on next, which is going to start the installation of the requested component. So once the installation is finished, just click on finish button. So when I click on finish, you can see when I select Oreo, which I have downloaded on the right hand side, it says HAXM is not installed. So in order to install it, you just need to click on this link, which is given here, which says install HAXM and then leave everything as default, which is 4 GB in my case, which is also recommended. If you want to increase it, you can increase it. It's totally dependent on your operating system and then click on next and click on yes. And now I can see that Android SDK is up to date, running Intel HAXM installer, and then Intel HAXM update is successfully and done. So click on finish now. And once again, click on next. Now I can see that I can choose from uh, these two uh, modes. One is portrait and other is landscape. So I will leave everything as default here and then click on finish. So now I have this virtual machine, which I have created recently, right? So now, as you can see, I have created one more device, which is Nexus 5 API also just for the demonstration. So in this way, you can create multiple virtual devices here. And then once you close it, you will be able to uh, select between those virtual devices. So after that, you can just select one of the device and then click on this run app button, which is going to run your app and show you the app in the virtual device. So this is how you can download and install Android Studio on your Windows 10 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.